I, I think it's so important because a lot of uh, filmmakers, especially independent filmmakers, are not getting the opportunity to have their movies seen on the big screen. And ABFF allows another voice. It gives us an opportunity for our stuff to be seen with our peers. Uh, I think it's one why I've seen a lot of great films that you know you can tell. Well, we don't have the money to make you know the big the big screen theatrical uh, um, uh, films, but at the same time we have big big screen theatrical stories to tell. You know, and I think the ABFF has allowed that voice to be heard. I think it's wonderful. I, I hope they have another 16 years. In this last year, we've seen a lot of African American talent on the screen so far, and we've seen films like Think Like a Man, see box office success. How is uh, how does other films affect you as a filmmaker? So, like, Think Like a Man opens up with those type of numbers. Is it, how does that affect your process as a filmmaker when you go into the studio? Well, you know, it, it definitely raises the bar. I think I think it's kind of important that we continue to raise the bar. Uh, what I liked about Think Like a Man, it's not the typical stereotypical stuff that we get. I mean, there might be some things in there that you go, oh, I've seen something like that before, but it was unique and it was different. And I think more so than anything, it, it, it really, it, the marketing was just ingenious. You know, Will Packer is a beast. And, you know, I was, went to a panel of his and just hearing the stories and, and, and things that I can learn. And, and I think uh, it allows all of us to grow when we watch a good film like that and say, OK. And also sends a message to Hollywood. Hey, dudes, we can do $90 million. You know, we just not with a $13 million budget. We can do that. You know, we don't have to spend all this money. We can give you good quality, great acting for $13 million. Hello, we're still here. You know, and I think that's a big thing. Now, you've seen uh, our films, a lot of comedies, 35 and Ticket, Think Like a Man, romantic comedies. Do you think uh, us as filmmakers need to broaden our genres that we that we submit to? And that we well, you know, black filmmaking is a, is a genre in itself. I think that those stories are out there, and I think those films have been made. Some of them have been made out of frustration because they're not getting what they want and it's time like, I, I'm going to make this film. I got $50,000, I'm going to make this film. But there's some great stories. Like, I mean, The Under Shepherd, I mean, it's a great story, but I didn't have a budget. You know, it was just me and somebody else. And I had some actors that believed in, in, in the script and brought it, you know. But that's, that's the problem. We have great stories that are not being told because we don't have the money or we have in our mind what the Hollywood budget is supposed to be, you know. And listen, I, that's not where I'm at. I, I, I can't go there. I can't, I, it, I, I shot this movie in 15 days. I can't go beyond that because I can't afford it. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking to myself, what would happen if I really got a legitimate budget and the amount of time to shoot it? But in the meantime, I'm a guerrilla filmmaker. And I applaud everybody that's got a film in here. A lot of these independent guys, you got to do some guerrilla. We don't have time to go get the permits sometimes. Sometimes you got to open them up. There's a story, Kevin Hart, we were shooting 35 and ticking. And he's like, Russ, I'm a big star. And you got me sitting here in the back of the van. And you're getting ready to tell me to run. We'd slide the door open, I'll run and go sit in that chair. You know, I, he said, what are you doing, Russ? I said, just do it. And I'm rolling and I'm falling him. You know, he says, I'm a, he came back and complained. I'm a big star. But he's joking because he loves me. Uh, I, but, but the big thing is, is that we got to do what we got to do.